subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. All right, guys, so we had a water leak in the boat and we didn't know where it was coming from. I was trying to clean the tanks out when we first got on the boat and I've left it up until now where we are got to get off the dock and we're going to need water. What I did find, like a lot of things on the boats and many boats, things are done the wrong way. It's not always the person's fault. Um, and I know this from experience because depending on your cruising areas, sometimes you're very limited to what you can get. So you make do with what you can get. And I've done it before myself. But in this case, this person had a three quarter inch um, fitting for the water tank and the pipe actually went over it like so. This is a new pipe, but same size pipe and they clamped it around the thread. So the water initially was just running out the thread. So I've replaced this and well, I'm about to and I'm putting the correct size on. So that's going to be the one inch fitting as opposed to sliding of a one inch pipe over the thread and tightening up on the thread. It would have someone had to make do with what they had, so I suppose. Or they just did the wrong thing, I don't know. I'm not judging. But uh, anyway, we're going to put the right fitting in, new lines, clean the tanks out. We're using mains water and I don't really like that because if something was to burst, then we've got a problem. But regardless, I'm installing a new water pump. So I've purchased, uh, I think it's like a 20 or 18.9 liters per minute so five gallons per minute pump here it's got a strainer it comes down to two valves which were originally up here but i put them down low so both my tanks will self-level as i fill it with say the water maker they're there if i do need to isolate for some reason or balance the boat but generally i don't really plan to utilize them anyway but they're just there so i can isolate i'm going to run this line around behind me i've put an accumulator it's quite a big one which stops the uh, pump cycling so much. If without an accumulator, um, your pump's on, off, on, off, on, off, and you really put a lot of premature wear on your pump. So that's behind me. There's the pump. I'm gonna put a little joiner here for my wires. I'll fasten that down, but I'm not gonna bore you with playing around in here because it's just removing a lot of old lines. I'm gonna replace these. I've actually got like three cuts on the way to the tank that have been joined and I'm not a fan of joins. I'd like just one continuous run to our water tanks and the same pipe. This is an actually sanitary pipe, so I'll change that out, change that out. And these are all the time consuming jobs, but no leaks, new pump, should last a long time. Clean, we've cleaned the tanks out, the kids have got in there, wiped all the tanks down, there's inspection outlets, so the tanks should be clean. Hook it all up get our accumulator on and we should be able to break away from shore water which it's been like I said it's been running on town water which is fine but if something was to burst it makes me a bit nervous having town water on full time so if something did burst you're gonna fill your bilges with town water it doesn't sit well with me because you're just gonna hope that your bilge pump can keep up I've been in there editing and I just came out and Bella's decided to start a massive project <laughs> oh, not like we're going. <laughs> that is uh, in the kitchen, so what are we going to eat tonight? I didn't just randomly go, oh, yeah, I'm going to send it without anyone telling me. No, she's doing a really nice job, but all down the bottom there was all rotten. So, we had to do something, and like everything, we can't do a half-assed job, can we, Bella? We do a proper job. It's no a good thing. No half-assing around here. No half-assing. So... This will look very lovely, but she's going to do all of it, right? Mm. The whole way along here. No, just the back wall, so like this, yeah. back there, and that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's nothing. <laughs> well, it's not like this part or like no. where the cutler is, or this side. Oh, yeah, Yes, said my name. Pass me, um, just on the fridge there, a little clip. This? Yeah, What's your job been today? Oh, look, it's, you know, it is what it is. I'm getting there, it's very slow. I've just run two new lines to our water tanks, fixed up a fitting. I uh, just dropped these, because these are up high. I dropped them low, because I just want to leave it so both tanks level themselves out. Comes up, put to a little pre-filter, to our pump. I'll whack a power clip on there, 
run some power over here, finish the line into our main water. Got a few little tweaks here and there, but yeah. Oh, it looks it's neat. Getting there. So. Helping you. I've been hearing some yelling. Yeah. <laughs> right, so he's back in the engine bay last night. What did you do? You went and did the accumulator. Oh, look, you know, there's a big Groco um, pressure storage tank here. It's actually quite a big one because we have two showers on the boat. So it's a massive one here. I've plumbed that into our main line. I've put a valve here. I don't know if you can see, but there is a valve under here. Yeah. And we have a valve over here. So if town water's on, which it is at the moment, we can leave that on. If we want town water to stop, we turn that off. So that's our town water in. I've got our two tanks and the water comes through our pump and into our main line. I can either have town water or tank water on. And it's so neat, look at it. Well, it's, that is what it is. But um, I love these fittings. I don't know, I've never used these fittings before, but they're, um, I think they're called shark bite fittings. So they're like your Home Depot fittings, but they're household fittings and household plumbing. So we're only under pressure from a water pump, so that should be fine. It's just really easy to work with, really easy to bend. I don't know if it's gonna be really easy in the long run. That's what the boat had, so that's what I continued to use. So when I cut into anything, I've just continued what they've used here, but I actually quite like it. They call it PEX, so it's all half inch PEX through the pretty much the whole water system. Little strainer, strain any debris out from the holding tank. I feel like we're getting somewhere. So I am sanding the kitchen again, and last time I had heaps of uh, dust in my nose and mouth. Mum was uh, a little annoyed that I didn't wear one the other day, when I, so I'm going to wear one today. And um, I have this on because I washed my hair last night because I had all dust in it. But I don't want to like have to wash it again tonight after having dust in it. So I just thought I'd put a t-shirt over and um, I think I look pretty good, especially when I add the mask. That will look uh, pretty great. She's done a wonderful job. She's sanded all of the kitchen back. The reason we have done this is not just to make the boat look pretty. There was a bit of rot going on about in there. Wonderful and job. In Created there. a bit more work, I think. So what that is done? what's happening. And they're about to epoxy it. So we've decided instead of varnishing, we're going to epoxy because the kitchen gets wet and it's just going to be more of a problem if we don't fix it with a solution. So. They are going to epoxy today, which is great because this is a very inconvenient job. Working in the kitchen is very inconvenient. You have to have, there's nowhere to cook, there's nowhere to put your food, there's nowhere to put anything. So we have crap everywhere. We decided to epoxy the galley instead of varnish. And this is Dad and I doing the first coat. Let me DIY tips, honey. I don't know yet, we'll see when we finish. I'm just <laughs> making it up as we go along, guys. My, I'll just have a go. <laughs> All you gotta do in life is have a go. Have a go. Quote of the day, just have a go. Have a go, you never do anything. I'm not saying buy a boat sight unseen on the other side of the world from where you live um, with a no budget, but hey, have a go. No if budget. Always... If only we had no budget. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm saying that we didn't have a budget. Uh, it sounds like you've got endless amounts of money there, Captain. Well, Are you hiding that from me? I don't know about that. If there's any hiding, it'll be time to bring it out now. <laughs> yeah, so I reckon the key bell, let's put it on one way and then tip it off the other. Could be wrong. Oh man, this is awesome. It just seals it up. I don't, I don't think I'm going to varnish anything on the boat. Oh, the only <laughs> thing is... Epoxy isn't UV stabilized, so if you do do anything that's exposed to the sun or UV light, uh, you do have to put a coat of varnish over it so it protects it. So, anything in the living room. So, we won't bring the sunshine in here, hey? Well, it's hard when you're around, darling, because you're pretty bright. Oh, <laughs> that's very sweet. Bella, you're going to have to keep going now in the boat. 
just not so much at one time and just don't take away the kitchen from us. <laughs> it's really inconvenient. Oh, it's not no, uh, we have to got to get in there and get the alternator on yeah, and start batteries, that... the stuff that we need to do. <laughs> yeah, this stuff can be done at anchor somewhere. <laughs> so no more. This was just because we were ruining the boat. And one, uh... And Lee thought that Bella was going to do it all by herself. Yeah. I did. She did. Until today. I had to sand everything. No, no, you, I don't know what you did this morning because <laughs> then I had to come and like fix everything I thought I left for you. <laughs> I like left these spots because Dad's like, I'll come through after you. I'm like, sweet, don't need to get the hard spots. Apparently he doesn't do them either. <laughs> That's the trouble spot. Oh yeah, we might layer this up a bit thick, eh? Oh, I thought I was going to be lighter, but it's not me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sand it and then a varnish it, and that's like proper people do. Are you serious? Yeah, it makes it real, real, real nice. No, I'm not going to do that. I need a kitchen back. Gee, if it's we do. Like... We do need it back, Bella. We need it back. Wow, it's so shiny. It's so shiny. Like a golden. I don't know the words. Me neither. A la 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 la. It's so shiny. And I can't put it over here because they won't let me put music on YouTube. So, is there anyone to pick the movie? What movie? He's in his engine room and he's trying to, he was trying to figure out how he can um, store some things under the floor because he's got a fancy floor in his room now. But I just wanted to show everybody because he's super clever and we had spare boxes that we oh. couldn't utilize. We got a whole heap of boxes on the deck, the plastic boxes. I didn't want to put them to waste, but at the same time, I didn't want everything just rumbling around under the floor and I wanted somewhere to store my oils and that. So I'm going to screw in. I've just cut this down to fit under the floor. And that way nothing will spill throughout the boat if one of my oil containers leaks and they're all out of the road and I can keep my little workspace. All right, I'm going to keep moving. I'm editing the boat show. There's Taj tattooing someone <laughs> for real, people. It's a for real tattoo. So epic. Anyway, you guys should jump on over and watch that episode. I'll put it in the link right here. So Lee is slowly getting rid of all the crap. We've had lots of boxes on the deck. We want to go sailing, but we need to have places for everything. And so tonight he has been packing his floor and he's done a beautiful job. Look at all that stuff under there. Nothing is going to leak on into the floor, into the bilge. Well done, honey. And I'm about to pass in the floor and you just wouldn't even know that that stuff's under there. One thing on a boat, you've got to learn how to utilize small spaces and be able to put stuff in hidden hidey holes. Hey, babe. That's right, darling. All right. I'm going to pass you the floor, but look at that. So much gear in here. And he's right where that box is, is a hatch, so he can get it easily. We'll show you in a second. Look at that. And he can all access all these things that he needs. He's got spares in there. What else is in there, honey? Just mostly spares. Mess at the moment. And whatever else, hoses, things. Look! I don't even know all that stuff's in there. Oh, look at this. It's got enough room for me to come and do yoga with you. Alright. You ready well, for your yoga class? We have a floor in here now. This was just, I don't know, bits and pieces of not much when we first started. <laughs> But yeah, I just mounted a um, one of our big buckets just inside, just so all our bits and pieces wouldn't roll around in the bilge. That's got filters and spare bits and pieces down in there. Same over here. Spare water pumps and filters and fan belts and... Actually, I'm still sitting on some items underneath me too, which if we really need to get to, we can lift the whole floor, but they're the two main ones. And uh, I'll probably have be sitting where I'm sitting. I'm gonna have one box, which will just be a wet box, which will have my 
all my lubricants and oils and um, penetrating oil, WD-40s, all that sort of stuff. All your lubes and all penetrating lubes. oils, huh? Box of lube, penetrating oil. You need some mood lighting in here as well. <laughs> really set the scene. Well, I'd love to stay and chat, guys, but uh, it's like about 10 o'clock and I've got to get another coat of epoxy on. I'll do that about now. About 8.30. Ah, oh, feels like 10. It does feel like 10, but it's because we lost an hour. But we mm. gained an hour, sorry. We gained an hour. It's daylight savings now, so it usually is about 10. I don't want the 10. camera in my face. <laughs> Take a deep breath in through your nose. And out through the mouth. <sighs> As usual, working into the night. Yeah, doing the final coat on the kitchen and it's looking super shiny, super beautiful. Good job you guys. Oh, it's going to be dry tomorrow which is exciting because we need the kitchen back to we Yes. It's waterproof and it's not going to rot and it's going to last a long, long, long time. Maybe in the future we'll sand it back and do a coat of varnish over it and then it will make it look more of a matte finish than a shiny finish. So today, uh, Lee and I are about to jump in the water. I have two wetsuits on. I've got my wetsuit and then we've got this big thick wetsuit as well. I'm um, doubling up because I think the water is probably 50 Fahrenheit. Anyway, it's probably about 10 between 15 degrees, 12, 12, 15 degrees. Got my earplugs in and um, we are gonna have a little bit of clean on the bottom because it's been a few months since I cleaned the bottom. So we also have an anode that we have to put on because we took the anode off the shaft and we know it's really bad because it was really half eaten but we had the wrong size and we didn't put it on and we have been putting this job off because the water is so cold. But we are going in to do it today. So we're going to put an anode. We don't have any air, we're just gonna free dive. First, mum, let's open some packages. Oh, oh yay! We've got some like home oh, goods here. Like, uh, oh, feel that. Oh, scrubbers. Scrubbers. So you got a clean boat. <gasps> What's this exactly way? Like That's our Australian flag. Oh, we're bloody Australians, mate. The same size as a ghost flag, but I didn't want a too big a flag. Oh, Australians <laughs> all in tart rejoice. You don't know the words. Yes, I do. <laughs> That is the words, isn't it? What did you say? Australians all in tart rejoice. In for we are young and free. <laughs> I don't know at school. Let us rejoice. <gasps> <laughs> you know what I was singing at school. <laughs> and what's this flag we have here? We have another, we have a courtesy flag for... Mexico. Mexico, our next country. It's pretty thick quality, it's a quality flag. Quality flag? It'll last longer than our Indonesian flag. <laughs> this thing is so awesome because it is. So we have dishwashing, this is for dishwashing, for washing up. And instead of buying every like month the plastic dishwashing liquids and the non-organic stuff that we have been doing, we, mum has found this, well this isn't it, but there's round organic non-plastic soaps and this is what this is for. So it sits in here and you can scrub your dishes with all these natural things. <laughs> Look at this, this is so like hippie, it's so awesome. Uh, I think it's a bit. Oh the soap. Yeah. I feel like I didn't explain it very well. Oh no, this is our oh, yes. so other non-plastic things for when we go to the markets and we put all our fruit and veggies in these instead of plastic bags. We try and use as less plastic as possible on the boat. It's hard sometimes. It's definitely hard where we've been right at the moment, but, but these are going to make it way easier. And let's be honest, it looks way better than plastic. It does. Thanks, Roger. Really appreciate it. Very exciting. Thanks, mate. You're a legend. Bloody legend. All these people who have been getting these packages 
We're just, we're so grateful and we can't thank you guys enough. Okay, time to get in the water. Dad was waiting for mum. So, Lee's found this big ass thick suit that won't fit him. <laughs> I'm bummed, I would have loved that one. No, so I way. am putting it over my wetsuit and I'm gonna be toasty. <laughs> Hopefully. I'm not gonna be able to move much anyway. I'll be able to do this, scrub the boat. <laughs> Has seen that movie? I don't know what it's called. It's like Karen heads. No, no, it's like four two. Like it's like a number. It's like this like cartoon of aliens, and there's like these blue aliens, and they have like long heads. I don't know what movie is off, and it's annoying me. So if anyone knows with my very bad explanation, comment down below. But I think this is what Mum looks like with the the shape of her head. Turn to the side. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God, that's true.